An environment is a set of variables you can use in your Postman request. It's a good way to avoid repeating yourself. For this demo, I have this using environment collection in which I'm going to pretend I'm testing my API that is hosted on two different servers. The one is staging and one is prod. The requests are basically the same. Uh, it's a post request that send a user and user ID as a JSON body, but they're sending it to different places. So one is sending it to HTTP bin.org and the other one is sending it to prod, postmanico.com. Um, and they're using a different API key. So this one is using 4321 BCDA and this one is using uh, ABCD1234. They're basically the same, uh, but because they're calling different places, I have to use different requests. Uh, and if I wanted to change something in the body or in the params, I would need to update it in both requests. So one way to avoid doing that is using environment. I'm going to go ahead and create a new environment. And I'll call this one staging. This is going to have two different values. One is base URL and the other one API key. And then all I need to do is bring in the values of my base URL here. And then bring in my API key. So I'm putting the API key in current value because this is not shared with my collaborators. And because it's meant to be a sensitive value, obviously this one is not, um, I don't want to share it. Now what I can do is update the value here to be using base URL variable and API key variable. But as you can see, it's not being resolved. Um, I first need to select the environment. So there's two ways to do that. The first one is through this drop down at the top right. I can go ahead and set the staging environment as active, or I can do it through the environment tab here. I can hover on staging and click this tick box and say it as active. So as I do that, this is now resolved and I can call the same. And now it's going to use uh, my API key here and it's going to call HTTP bin. So now what I can do is create a new environment for production. So I'll duplicate this one, but I'm going to change the values. So now I want to bring in the values from here. So the base URL is postmanico. I'm also going to rename this to prod. And my API key is 4321BCDA. The same way, um, actually I don't even need to do that. So now I have these two environments set up. And all I can do is just use this single request. I don't even use this one anymore. I can move it. So what I can do, um, I can keep on calling staging. So I still have the staging environment selected. And again, you can see it's calling HTTP bin. And now I can just switch environments and then directly call my other server or the other API that is hosted on the other server. And that's pretty much it. Um, just using environment and this drop down now, uh, I can keep on switching from one environment to the other. And if I want to add more uh, things to sense, for example, if I had one more parameter here, location, home, I can try it out in uh, both APIs just by switching the environment again. So there's a few more things you can do with environment, especially if you're working with other people in your workspace. Um, so if you go to the environment tab and click on the three dots here, um, you can create a fork if you want to have your own version. You can manage roles if you want to add viewer or editor roles to your collaborators. And obviously you can just delete the uh, environment when you're done using it. And that's it. Uh, that's how you use environment in Postman.